Hello everybody. Hi there. Today we are touching on another nature subject. Mm. And it seems as if we quite into nature this <laughs> last couple of weeks. Um, because we've spoken on a few occasions about things from nature. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, at Afokop we are very much aware of of the weather and of nature. Uh, I think for a number of reasons, it's really very um, quite in your face. And, and we've had a couple of cold fronts and the snow of last week, and then this current one, and it's really, really in your face and cold and um, misty. We are actually in the clouds here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It is so interesting traveling from here to Wackerstrom to town where you go down uh, from here. Uh, not that much because Wackerstrom is high as well. Yeah, but it is a couple of hundred meters lower yeah. uh, in altitude. So, yeah, and you actually then move, you go below the clouds and you, you enter into into sunlight yeah. um, it's so weird and coming back you actually as you start to climb towards um Tafokop, you go back into the clouds yeah. so we're literally living in the clouds at the moment yeah. and uh, yeah and i think also where we're living in the cottage it's it has big big windows and so on both sides of the of the house you actually have these beautiful views of the natural surroundings mm. and um, so we are very aware of what's happening outside you almost feel as if you're living outside yeah it yeah has that feeling um, wonderful yeah so we've touched on Tafelkop this huge land uh, mass or Mark, uh, landmark and presence. yeah uh, and we've spoken about the deer uh, that we have here and it was the snowfall last week but this week we want to touch and we know for a fact this won't be the last time no. that we speak about that and we touched uh, want to touch on the subject of trees yes and i think specifically the trees at Tafelko. Mm. i think um, trees have been for both of us very important in our lives for me, because I grew up in a very, very uh, lush part of the country and trees were always sort of my hiding places. Where mm. I would, would climb into trees and sit and read my book and or sit under trees because it was very hot in the Lofel. So trees has always been almost like a sanctuary and a, and, and a friend mm. to me. And I think for you, uh, growing up on the high felt, which is much less um, tree uh, covered, mm. it's it's been uh, something that you really love doing is to plant trees. Mm, mm. And the whole enterprise, not so much me planting trees, but uh, living here at Tafelkop and being the recipients of trees being planted many, many decades ago mm. of all the advantages and the beauty of that and so on. So there's something very generous mm. in terms of trees being planted mm. because in very, yeah, I have to be careful because you have fast growers and slow growers and but so on, on but average, in general, yes. um, Often you don't enjoy all the benefits of the tree that you plant that you've planted. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that you are planting for a next generation, mm. um, and you hope that they will leave the tree untouched. Yeah, uh, and that they plant their own trees again. And plant their own trees. Yeah. Um, so it's almost this responsibility that we that we hand on, mm -hmm. and that we uh, enjoy. From previous, from previous generations. Yeah. So there's something of a lineage uh, that can be seen in trees. Mm. Um, mm. And I love that. Um, mm. 
it, it it ties humanity also to each other. Yeah. Uh, that you understand something of another person's personality by looking at the trees being planted. Mm, yeah, true. And I mean, walking down this this the, the lane that leads up to the the, the uh, farmstead. Um, you know those trees are older than than you are. Mm. Um, they are many, like you say, many many decades old. They are huge and and imposing and magnificent. Mm. And um, it's 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 a wonderful way to to enter into a space. It, it's a very welcoming, safe. Mm. Um, uh, space that you enter into mm. and something that fascinates me about trees especially uh, within the type of society that we live in in general in the west where being mobile and being on the move and active is regarded um, or is highly regarded and a tree stands where it stands it hmm. it doesn't move an inch uh, hmm. over its lifetime um, you might have grown up in a certain area and years Later, you go back and that tree is standing exactly where it stood when you uh, were growing up. And it has an impact mm. without being a mover and a shaker. Mm. <laughs> uh, which, which tells us something. Uh, how is it that something unmovable in that sense has such an impact? Mm. Um Do we necessarily have to be so um, dynamic? Mm. Uh, because uh, dynamic indicating this movement mm. Uh, mm. in terms of achievements and travel and all of that. But can we have an impact um, even if that doesn't take place? Yeah, staying in one place. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Because I think trees have, have so many metaphors um, in, in their rootedness, in their bearing of fruit. In, 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 there are so many metaphors that one could look at mm. and uh, apply to life. Mm. And all of those are such good lessons such good uh there's there's such wisdom to trees mm, mm. and now i mean we've uh, spoken in general about trees but since we've moved here trees that uh, uh, made an impact on you mm. initially <laughs> where shall i start let's start at the entrance so there's four oaks at the entrance from the from the main road, um, two pin oaks and two, um, uh, I think just green oaks like mm. the 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 um, what's that called? Um, yeah, they they don't lose their leaves. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll think of it now, and um, and then that huge one in the lane, mm. that huge oak. Mm. Um, it's a beautiful oak, that. Yeah. Oh. Evergreen, of course. It's yeah. an evergreen oak. Evergreen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that's a beautiful one. And then there's that small little wood of cedars. Mm. Also in the lane coming up to the house. Huge, huge, magnificent blue gums. Um, they are just so sculptural. They are so beautiful. Um, and then the, the, the orchard. Mm. With old apple and pear and uh, 
prune uh, a plum tree mm. there's even a walnut tree um so we were very excited about the orchard um and then the magnolia mm. Mm. lovely it's a big goliath that has has those huge white blooms and the the, the purple one what's that one called it actually flowering at the moment mm. flowers like in in winter and before it gets its leaves which is really wonderful mm. um, and then there next to the big uh, bigger house is that enormous pin oak mm. yeah it must be one of the biggest ones we've ever seen Yo, it, it is. is so tall yeah it's and towering and, over the house yeah um so that that's a real presence and then the ginkgo biloba yeah so that was a, a lovely surprise when i was walking down to the barn one day and i saw these yellow leaves on the ground and i realized that, that this is ginkgo biloba uh, leaves and i started looking around and there was this huge tree mm. the ginkgo biloba which is very special um uh, really a, a a very one of the oldest um, tree species that they, they actually is and it's in its own family that it doesn't even have any other um, relatives, relatives within that. In, in its family so it's really an ancient tree um, so that's really special mm, mm. and I mean that's just the beginning uh, Mm. Uh, of our discovery because across the road uh, uh, next to the stream on the other side there's that natural forest yes and Ooh. they are beautiful indigenous oh. uh, otonikwa yellow woods and we haven't experienced them for ourselves but um, yeah that's another adventure that we're looking forward to yeah that's a whole yeah. uh, new area that we haven't explored in the least yeah. uh, at this stage um yeah but i think also just in terms of what what i truly feel about trees and yeah as well is that it ha it plays such a big part in setting uh, a, a certain atmosphere but that it's also companions mm. um mm. and for me it's always been a safe space um um i love 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 hugging a tree there's mm. just something so extremely safe about that mm. and grounding about mm. that mm. and it's such a spiritual experience because one realizes that that is part of the bigger gospel message mm. uh, our link to this create created world uh, and creation mm. and that it is not only about personal salvation uh, which we tend to focus on uh, that the gospel is about personal salvation but it is about much more it is about trees exemplifying love a creator that loves something to create a tree um, what is that almost corny poem uh, poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Mm. It is, it's part of this created world. And we love trees and they so in your face and eye catching. But there's also at their roots, there's a whole ecosystem with um lichens and Mosses moss and, and fungi yeah all, all this the small organisms that we're not even familiar with so we tend to look at the big five or the big trees but there's also smaller worlds mm. and to become aware that we are part of that and that is part of the the the, the bigger story and it's an adventure um, and it is lovely to experience that. So we'll definitely um, show more pictures of trees as we settle in and get to know Tafelkop and explore it more. Uh, so you might get frustrated. It's like grandparents <laughs> sharing pictures of and their grandchildren. And especially once the blossoms in the orchard store. Yeah. <laughs> 
um, but apparently the cold is spread all over the country so uh, uh, mm, we hope warm. you are warm on that side mm. uh, and uh, keep safe have a wonderful week everyone bye bye bye